All right, you just saw me doing some sanding on this piece of green slate to collect the dust. Here it is here. Uh, now I strained this before I put it in the bag because there were some chunks in there from the slate because it has layers in it and it doesn't uh, sand smoothly. You know, those little chunks off of the edge and sometimes in the middle here they fly into the dust so I strained it with a, a cheap strainer uh, this is a splash shield uh, that helps prevent grease from splattering splattering outside of the pans like when you're making bacon or something but it's a very fine mesh I bought it at the dollar store for a dollar so it's pretty cheap pretty easily uh, accessible so nothing fancy there. I also have some purplish kind of slate that I'm going to collect some dust from also as a pigment. But today I'll just be using this. And I also uh, want to try this too. This is a dry mix coffee or a dry mix uh, espresso type coffee. We'll see how that works. So let's see, I tried this earlier, as I usually do off camera, and uh, this is the color here. This is the, the purple slate, I, I got a little bit of that dust from the purple slate, it seems to work pretty good. And I was scratching this paint, uh, just in case you're curious, this is not a very durable paint, it does scratch off easily, uh, with a knife it it's very easy, but with my fingernail, I was scratching off each one of these. It, it does scratch off easily. Now, if you want a more durable binder, uh, use something like this. You can use wood glue or, uh, you know, Elmer's or Tight Bond or just simple Elmer's glue, not the wood glue type, you know, the white glue. You can use that. That'll be a much stronger binder than this, but it also dries faster and the fact that uh, some of these glues are waterproof or water resistant makes them difficult to clean up off your brushes later on so um, this one says easy water cleanup so that would be your best bet you know make sure it, it can be cleaned up with water but like tight bond I think some of the I think it was three different types some of them are not easily dissolved with water okay so let's try this slate powder now it was difficult for me to get enough pigment into the mix. For some reason, it doesn't go a long way. It needs a lot, you need a lot of pigment in the uh, mix. Okay, and I'm gonna use egg yolk. Let's see, first let me use some water in here. Get a slurry with the water first, and then I'll add the egg yolk. Now you may hear some things in the background that are already getting started on the 4th of July celebrations and stuff. Hopefully I'll be able to get this demonstration done before we are interrupted. Okay, so that's just plain water. Now I'm going to add the egg yolk. That's quite a bit. Let's see. I don't think I meant to add that much. Anyway.
And what I think I'll do is I will do a scratch test with different binders. The other binders you can use are things like shellac and uh, she already mentioned glue. Oh yeah, I've got some powdered milk. If you look up how to use how to make uh, milk paints. You can you can just buy uh, powdered milk at the grocery store. I went and bought some here locally. This is what we have. Okay, it's like less than two bucks for this packet. Okay. So I just I just put it in a in a Ziploc bag. So I'll be doing that too. I'll be using I'll be using the non the I think that's skim milk, right? Yeah. Powdered skim milk. And doing a scratch test on that, see how durable it is. But these primitive paints are not really durable, okay? You can also use pine pitch or rosin but you have to keep it hot you you can also use hide glue but again you have to keep it warm so I stay away from those uh, because I like to be able to uh, clean up with water afterwards if you use pine rosin or hide glue it 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 might ruin your brushes if you don't know how to remove the rosin or the high glue from the brush itself or you know even if you know how to do it uh, sometimes it'll get uh, it'll be hard to reach down inside the base of the brush here and you'll end up with a very stiff brush after it dries out uh, with a water base you can easily just soak it in water and get it get it to uh, come out okay let's try some of this Try just straight egg yolk. Now I'm spending some time on this because I noticed I got a lot of interest on that last video where I did some painting the uh, the ratio of likes to views is pretty high pretty high number of likes so I think I'll do some more painting in the videos not too much I am going to get back to flint napping of course but I do want to spend some time on these side skills so to speak because I do this sometimes off camera you know not all the time I don't always work on complete projects sometimes I'm, I'm just interested in one thing like uh, practicing on my thinning or practicing on a specific point type like Clovis or Eden or one of the bird points. Like lately I've been practicing on ho ho -cum points and that kind of thing. Anyway, I think I can get that to be darker with, with a little more mixing. That's how it looks so far. This, uh, the uh, coffee mix dissolves better in hot water or warm water. Although it is like 95 degrees today. I think I can get a better result with a little bit of warm water first and then add the egg yolk. Or just keep adding more and more 
uh, to the mix here to make it darker. It's already starting to dry. So this is a caramel color, caramel color. And with a little more mixing, it can get darker. I'm trying to think of another binder. You can use hot melt glue, but again, you'll have to keep it very hot and you'll have to use maybe a different kind of brush or maybe even a spatula to apply it. One of those metal spatulas, but that's more difficult. All right, so with more mixing and more concentration with the coffee, it gets darker, as you would have guessed. So yeah, I think what I'll do is, I've got shellac, I've got wood glue, I've got powdered milk, and um, I do have rosin also, but I'm, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to stay away from that. Uh, I may just, yeah, I think I'll do hide glue as well as a binder. Make a bunch of these with different binders. This is all egg yolk here. So I've got a bunch of these. So off camera, I'm going to make a lot of these and then uh, come back and do a video on how durable these paints are. Okay.